So we've been lucky to have three foals born this month so far. Uh, the first was born on the 4th, and then on the 10th, and the evening of the 11th. Her name is Uhura, and it actually means freedom in Swahili, which is, of course, appropriate given that it was the 4th of July, and her father's name is Freedom. The second one was born to Alicia, and her name is Kira. It's named after a river in Africa. Yeah. And we're still working on that. It hasn't even been 24 hours since his birth, so we're, uh, we're knocking some ideas around, but uh, nothing solid as of yet. Every time that we have a baby born, we need to gather it up and make sure that it all looks well, that make sure that it's strong and healthy, make sure that we know the gender of the baby, give it some identification so that once it's growing up and joins the herd that we can pick it out and identify it separate from its mother, and then just give it back to mama, make sure mom picks them up and all looks well. I think they're one of the most striking of all the equids. Um, they look kind of like a mix between a zebra and a mule. Oftentimes people think that it might be a crossbreed, but actually they're perfectly adapted to their desert environment. That striping on their legs helps to camouflage them when they're in the low brush. Obviously there's not high trees in the arid deserts. And those big ears that you were referring to actually help keep them cooler. Um, most desert animals have very large ears because it kelp helps to distribute the heat in their body. These animals are found in northeast Africa, uh, principally in the countries of Somalia, Eritrea, and um, Ethiopia. And there's, because they're critically endangered, there's very few of them left in that region, somewhere estimated between 150 to 600. This exhibit just opened within the last two years. So when they're on the tram and they're passing South Africa on their left, if they look to the right, they will see that exhibit on the hillside. They'll probably be staring down looking at them from the tram.